of Pamela Notandopoulou, best known by her stage name Nomina, is a Botswana and Germany-based singer and songwriter. She describes her first single, Mama Land, released in 2016, as an introduction to who she is and where her roots and passion uh, for music come from. Nomina's career has seen her work in productions such as The Lion King, We Will Rock You and Mama Mia. In 2021, she collaborated with American Jamaican artist Sean Kingston. She joins us this morning to take us through her musical journey. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. It seems you have a colorful <laughs> musical journey. Tell us a little bit about where it all started. I believe it's, there's also Zimbabwe in there somewhere. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Um, okay, about the music or my way of Growing up and how Growing music up, yeah. all comes together. Okay, so I am Nomina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I was born in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. My mom is uh, originally from Zimbabwe. Right. And my father is from Botswana. Mm. So I went to primary school in Zimbabwe. And then um, Botswana, I went to junior and senior school and then proceeded and later on to Germany. Yeah. Yes. Talk to us about music. How does music fall into everything? Yeah, music was always some kind of a family thing. My mom loved music so mm. much. So I um, also grew up in going like church and all this stuff and then um, school choirs, all these things. So she was always kind of uh, pushy um, that I do music. And I, I think I developed also this passion. Um, at a very um, young age. Yeah. So even at school, um, when I'm reading, the people are busy reading and busy composing yeah. <laughs> melodies <laughs> around the text, you know. Yeah, so I always loved music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about The Lion King. How did that come about? The Lion King, it came when there was um, a call for an audition. So it was a radio thing mm -hmm. and uh, some girls, the friends were like, you sing, why don't you just go and try, you know? Try your luck. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, I'm not so sure. Will I make it those big vocals, you know? So I just tried and I went there for audition. And there were, um, that very day, there were about like four auditions you have to go through. Mm. So they just took me with the second one and that, that wow. was it. And, and how it was, was that experience? It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful and the chances were really big at that time, but I was still studying and I just decided to just go with the studies because I felt like, mm, how is it going? Because I feel like maybe I can get bored yeah. with musicals because you keep on singing one the same thing and the same songs and yeah. But yeah. it was really a very interesting part of my life and I enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. I mentioned Sean Kingston in the intro as well. How did that come about? Uh, Sean Kingston is a new song. It's mm -hmm. called Closer to You. Actually, it's just like uh, this year. It's released um, right now in February. And yeah, it was, um, I don't know how to say, it was an, an amazing thing. Right. Because <laughs> I always listen to his music and I love his music. And the, the, my agency, they sent uh, my stuff to his management. They listened to my stuff and like, wow, yeah, we can work with it. Why not? He likes her work. So yeah. So they sent me his part and then I did my part. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to be also traveling to LA, I think around June for a video shoot if all goes well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. What lessons came with working on this particular project? What did it teach you about yourself? Um, about myself is like, it, it taught me to also look back mm. and appreciate the steps that I've been making or taking up to where I am right now, because sometimes we forget, you know, like um, these baby steps that we keep on, you know, taking, yeah. it really helps for me to look back and say, I've actually came far right now because this is like some kind of a dream come true and there's still more coming. So yes, it's yeah. a beautiful thing. And looking back, how would you describe your music or your sound um, mm. coming into age of now, the experience and all that, and you've settled on this sound. What, how would you describe that sound? Um, my sound, I always wanted something that is kind of unique. Mm. Um, I always try to also kind of fuse the the modern part i'll say modern but it's not modern it's just like the european part because i also live there you know so but also bringing in my african roots i always want to have them felt in a song so it's either sometimes i use my language you know like with the sean kingston song i used my ndebele zulu and tswana yeah and you know to touch it up in a way because they already had their beat and all these things so i always try to bring in that 
Mm. Yeah. And I mean, talk to <clears throat> us about connecting to the motherland, which comes up a lot in your catalog. Yeah. Why is that important to you? Um, it's because I am connected. These are my roots. This is where I am grounded, like where I really come from. Mm. Even if I can stay out there, still there's this thing, home is home, you know. So you can never go wrong. <laughs> so I really feel like it's my, it's my home. Africa is where I come from. So mm. I really embrace it. And I try to also try to prove it, you know, that I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what's sure. been the reception um, from the world about Africa and the Africa that you bring? Yeah, from the world, I think um, people also do appreciate somebody who stays true to themselves. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to be, I can do like, you know, I don't want, what, 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 I can do the training and all these things, but I just decided to just stay myself. Why should I change? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But of course, I'm learning different cultures and I'm growing. Mm. Yeah. Talk to us about the two songs you're going to perform for us. What mm -hmm. are those songs? Yeah, the first song is rice, mm -hmm. <laughs> just the rice that we eat. So it's a new as in song. rice, rice, rice. Yeah, using rice, oh, rice. Okay. Yeah. So that's the song, and then the Sean Kingston one with I. So that, those are the songs I'm gonna perform. I'm interested in the rice. Mm. What is the rice? The about? rice song just came up about me trying to remind people about you know. I just watched a documentary once in a while, and you know, like. I saw these farmers, the way they go deep in water and how hard it is, you know, to, to make, to produce that rice, you know, in the fields and, you know, that. So I was like, <clears throat> I think it's better for, for me to just um, remind people mm. to, because we just buy it and we just eat, we buy it and it's almost like a staple food now beside papa. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, we have to also think and appreciate these people who go deep there and they work hard and sometimes they're not really paid well yeah you know just a reminder that we can also kind of you know relate yeah yeah all right uh, mm. thank you so much nomina uh, yeah. we look forward to hearing the sound uh, from you sing and performer nomina speaking to us about her musical career mm. as well as her journey uh, so far which includes uh, releasing singles such as nomina and well in fact rice and then um working with sean kingston